Hi, uh, my name's uh, James Rowley. I go under the name of Rafael Levusa. I'm an aspiring artist who was originally born in Bolton but now I live here in Liverpool. Uh, the reason I moved here is because um, Liverpool has an emerging street art culture uh, which is shown in areas such as um, Baltic Triangle, which is at the forefront of that. And I feel coming here would uh, help me in helping to influence others to do the kind of work I do. I started street art because I feel it's a good way to express how I feel and my views on the world. I feel it's, it's a good way to get my message out there to the people. And now I normally go down to Zap in the city centre where I just practice my graffiti there. And I've met so many people as well. Like I've met so many friends uh, doing graffiti at Zap. Uh, it's so good to networking. A spare thing to actually mean something, stuff that matters to me. Stuff what I, I believe people would actually benefit from or learn from. Street art is heavily influenced by Liverpool's culture in the past, for example, um, John the Beatles and their cover art for their albums. Um, so I feel it's the culture, it, it's growing, it's rising because we've got places like Zap and the Baltic, Baltic Triangle where the culture has literally spoken for itself because we have now got places where it's socially acceptable to spray on walls, to, to, to spray paint, to graffiti. It's almost seen as socially acceptable crime. So I feel it's very important for our culture to influence more arts, more artists, and more creativity to stimulate that right burn. For me, I think the future for street art is definitely bright. Like I said earlier, we've got places where it's acceptable to, to spray, like your know, Baltic Triangle uh, and many others. I feel so. The culture is rising, the culture is growing, so we're moving forward all the time with street art. I definitely see the uh, future as being bright for street art. So when I was younger I practiced mainly at home and in my back garden. Um, now I practice in my local area where, wherever there's a, a brick wall for example, anywhere which looks good. We've got places around the world now where we've got galleries dedicated to street art in you know, Liverpool, in London, in Amsterdam, in, you know, in Paris. I see nothing but bright lights now for street art's future.